Hey, in this tutorial, we'll see how to save form data or any other information in a repository in form of Node. As part of this tutorial, we'll see how to use JCR Node APIs, how to write a resource type servlet and the factory configuration. This is very important. We have a detailed tutorials available about the OSGI configuration and factory configuration. So I'll give the link of those tutorials in description. Please go back and check those. This is really important. And then we'll see how to write Sling Mod and OSGI services. So at high level, we'll have a form. So as soon as we submit that form, so the data will be stored under a country specific site. And we'll create a node for a one submission. So that's the same for other country site as well. So as the country site, the form will be used. It will store the data, form data under the specific site. So in detail, we'll have a form. We'll use this resource type servlet uh, as an action to this form. So when we submit that, form inside a servlet we will call the OSGI service then we will be having another service which actually will be calling the factory configuration and this service will be used to get the factory configuration once we have all the required information from this factory configuration factory OSGI configuration we will save that data under a country specific site we will create one node per submission more specifically, these are the name of the files what I will be creating under this tutorial. So we have a component called add author. This component is a form, but I intentionally hard coded the fields. I'm not drag and dropping the form fields. Okay. Uh, then we have a author servlet. The name will be same of these files you will see in this tutorial. Then we'll have a service. Actually, this service is being called in servlet in post method. Now this service internally will call another service author service config. This service will be getting the factory configurations. So this service will call this factory configuration. Then this service will return this required factory configuration to the author service. Once the author service have all the required information, it will store data, means form data under respective country's site. Again, I would say this section of this tutorial is really important. Let's understand the servlet first. So I wrote a resource type servlet using the latest annotation means DS 1.4. I have already explained uh, in detail about the servlets, how to write resource type and other type of servlet using latest annotation. So I'll give the link of those tutorials as well. So in this, because I'm using the resource servlet resource type and uh, matter is post, this servlet is bind to this component. If you see, this is my a component called add author selector. And the extension selector is add author and extension is uh, JSON. So once this uh, this uh, component is bind with selector and extension, then this servlet will be called. In post, I'm just simply calling the methods of the OSGI services by passing the country and the request. Now, before we go to this uh, service, let's go back and check the component, means form component. So that's my form which has basically first name, last name, phone number, email and this field will be storing the books. It will store multiple names. Basically this is the tag field, bootstrap tag field. And finally we'll have a browse field which actually store the thumbnail of that author. To configure this means how this form will call that servlet. So we have to author it. So there is if you see in form you have a action type in action type i added a new action type i'll explain in coming tutorial how to add a new action type so as soon as i add my action type specific action type add author and once you save it you must see a this path to this servlet in action so let's check that if i check this and if you see this action so you will see this path this path till till this component means the component on page then dot dot selector add author and then dot extension so this selector and this extension is for that servlet if you see these two so when we submit the form then this servlet, servlet will be called because we are using the selector and extension of this servlet that's my service which has basically right now only a single method create author node this method you will see first i'm getting a osgi factory configurations us instance so it's a you can in factory configuration you can have multi 
multiple instances of a OSGI configuration. So I have multiple uh, instances, means one instance for each country. So in this, we will be getting a OSGI configuration instance specific for the US. I'm passing a country code here, and then I'm getting this OSGI uh, configuration using this service. So if you will see there, this method with country config will iterate all the configurations, all the instances of this OSGI configuration and using the by mapping those uh, configuration to the country code, it will return a specific you know, country OSGI configuration. How it will be doing that? This is the factory configuration which contains the configuration for three countries. This is my US uh, configuration. So as soon as this field match with the country code, this configuration will be picked the OSGI configuration you will see here so in this I add a first field as a country code so what it will check it will get the country code from the request how I'm passing it and it will iterate all the configurations we have when this country code and OSGI configuration first field will match it will get the configuration so this this is a service let's understand a bit of this service but I have already explained in this detail okay so to you will see to make this we use this at the rate designate and we'll give uh, in OSD we'll give the name of the OSGI configuration means this interface class you see this one countries config and once you gave it there is another uh, attribute called factory if you make it true then that means this configuration will be created as a factory configuration right now we have activate method method name can be anything and in annotation is important so as soon as as soon as you deploy your code because it's at the rate active this method will execute and whenever you modify this this method will execute okay these two methods are important for this if you see reference bind author service config so as soon as you add any configuration, means add any new country's configuration inside this factory configuration, this method will call. And when you remove, this method will call. This is just a high level. I have already explained this in detail. Okay. And on save, we have a list of this author service config. Author service config means this, uh, this service itself. Okay. This factory service itself. And it has a list inside which will store all so as soon as we add new config it will add a config inside this list and when we remove it it will remove from this list so once this we have this list and finally we are iterating this list and we'll get as per the country code this is how it is working this is really important okay so here we got this factory instance of factory configuration we are getting some location of this node con configuration now we are getting resource resolver so as i have already explained in last tutorial using this util class i'm passing resolver factory and getting the resource resolver once i have resource resolver i got the uh, session and now i'm checking whether my parent node is ex exist or not let's say in us i will be saving the author's information under us hyphen author's node so i'll create one node under this so in first case when you submit the first request that node obviously won't be available so it will check whether it's available or not if it is not available so it will add first the parent node and then save the author's information and if it exists obviously it will add one node per form submit so this this else will only execute once per website because only the first time that it not won't be available so these are the methods you can simply explain add authors so i got session uh, and i'm getting it from request i'm getting the parameters means what have been submitted form data and i'm saving it in add node in node submitted and finally i'm storing the thumbnail i'll explain this thumbnail related uh, functionality in detail in a separate tutorial for now you can understand i'm storing thumbnail under the node as a child of node okay and we'll store that data as a binary data means the image or the pictures data the rest is pretty simple once you see with the code you will understand okay okay right now i have only one country site so i will be using proper blueprint language copy live copy stuff i will be explaining in detail in coming tutorials for less to understand this is my blueprint and i'm using only the us country site now so let's submit that form first so ideally let's let's understand where it will store so if you go here and you will see this us site right in this us site as per the configuration 
parallel to this EN, there must be a node US hyphen authors. That node must be there, and under that node, we'll store the author's information. So, the, at the first submit, that node is not there first. So, first, it will have what it will have to do. First, it should create a node, and that under that node, it will create a further node for the submission form submission and next time it will not create parent node obviously so let's submit that in form so i have this data in form uh, first name last name and this let's have this thumbnail information and books if you see these are the multiple books i have and the information and let's submit data so once i submit this data i got an information like this node has been created obviously i'll now right now i'm not using any thank you or something thank you page or something how the node will be created so to to have a unique node what i'm doing i'm adding the first name hyphen last name hyphen the email address of that you know user so it will create a node in this format now let's go to crg and check whether node is created or not if i refresh it you will see us hyphen authors a node has been created and under which it create a node with that format first name last name and this users means email address if you expand this there must be a folder sling folder called photos and under which it will create a file which contain the binary data of that particular thumbnail okay so in this in this way it will store a you know author's information next time it will just create a one more node here uh, let's submit one more data so okay now this time we have geeks tutorial so there will be a unique node and let's submit so it create one more node here let's refresh it okay so there is a two node if i try to submit the same node again this with same information so if i store this it say the author is already exists so i yeah, i wrote a code for this as well because when we try to create a node it will find the existing node means same node with the same name here so it will not create a further node with the same name here and this information is stored in properties if you see books this is the array type if you open it, it will you will see each book is uh, stored string array type and then email first name last name and obviously the phone number so how you can store these are these has been done using node api so i hope you understood this i'll push this code in new uh, this project specific repo if you have any question please do comment thank you